Michael Martin, the Speaker of the House of Commons. Is it witch hunt that he's experienced this year, or has he really been up to some dodgy dealings? If it's the last, then it's definitely sleaze, because his wife was found to have spent £4,000 on taxi fares just to go shopping when she claimed it was on official business, allegedly. We've also learned that politicians are allowed to spend up to £23,000 uh, of improvements on their second homes each year, which they now just want in one lump sum, uh, rather than having to actually put in individual expense claims for it. Uh, these include £10,000 on a new kitchen and £6,000 on a new bathroom. It's all coming from the so-called John Lewis list. Uh, this has all been, during the time that he's been Speaker of the House, he spent £1.7 million on his main house. £1.7 million. I mean, the House of Commons, as, the, as they all sit there, the MPs sit debating about the issue of dodgy expense claims, with him leading the discussion, he'll just be sitting there thinking, My ears are burning! Give up! Give up! Hurry up, Mary, come on! Yes, it's very sad when anyone's stabbed to death, particularly when they're only 18 and they haven't really lived. But what I'm getting at is the media's portrayal of him with headlines like, Harry Potter star stabbed to death. Yes, he was stabbed and died, but is he a Harry Potter star? He's only got a small part in the film that's not even come out yet. <laughs> Emily Diamond, the very attractive looking girl. Uh, but she died when a bus hit a tree, a branch fell off and killed her. Very sad. But isn't it nice that she had time to pose for a photo before dying? <laughs> Josef Fritz and his family. As those kids have lived a life from birth in an alternate world and don't any different until getting released by chance. It's almost the exact same plot of The Truman Show with Jim Carrey. I also, I'm sure I also saw in the sun there's a number you can text in order to download his kids' animal growls as a ringtone. That said, I've got an, an unused cellar, so I showed what you can do if you, you know, if you really put your mind to it. I might invite Sarah Beanie round for a quarter of a century. She's good at getting pregnant on a regular basis. That said, it was a daughter who gave birth. We're told that Elizabeth's teeth teeth had uh, rotted during a time down in the cellar and that they'd fallen out one by one. And you just let it happen. Well, £45 of filling these days, I think you had a fair point. John Ward is a Tory MP calling for, uh, for lone parents on benefits uh, for those who've had two or three children whilst on benefits uh, or as he called it to breed for greed to be sterilized good he said that the mother of then missing schoolgirl Shannon Matthews uh, who's had seven children by five fathers is an example of breakdown Britain uh, before all this he was referred to as a Nazi and there were calls for him to be axed from the Tory party now there's nothing more wasteful I think than young mums opening their legs on a Friday night in a club to any bloke passing and then dropping a sprog nine months later. I'm sure my taxes could be better spent than that. And they say he should be axed from the Tory party? He should be made leader! They're gonna put me in the movies. Earlier this year we had the Oscars. And at the time there was a, new, a piece on the news asking members of the public which film they think would go on to win the best movie Oscar. Where one guy said, No Country for Old Men. Another one said, Atonement. Uh, one said, There Will Be Blood. Another said, In the Valley of Ella. And then they went to one guy and he just goes, Transformers. Gordon Brown is still wanting to tax us over plastic bags and whinge about them endlessly. 
even though they only account for about 0.2% of all household rubbish. Fuck off, Gordon. I reuse mine in household bins all around the house. Yeah, shouldn't you be spending your time doing something more important, more constructive, like getting our troops out of Iraq, sorting out education, crime, price of petrol? And the supermarkets tell us that they'll give us a bag for life. But for life? What lasts for life these days? TVs used to last about 20 years, but now you're lucky if they last about five or six. The headphone socket of my MP3 went wonky after three and a half years, such that you can't hear anything, and after a couple of repairs, uh, it couldn't be fixed permanently, and now you know, I just ended up having to buy a new one, while the main bits of it work perfectly fine. I mean, what lasts for life anyway these days, unless you've got like a fast-acting terminal disease? Some people say uh, they want the, the plastic bags banned because they take a thousand years to rot away. As if they've sat there and measured it personally. Others say, oh, we, they blow about all over the place. Well, just dispose, of, just dispose of them in the bin once you finish with them properly. Others say, oh, but they can get into the sea and kill fish. Well, cars can be used to drive into people and kitchen knives can be used to stab people. But, you know, I, I just, I don't hear you calling for a ban on them.